Hey everyone, my name is Justin and in this video I'm going to show you how to customize your Snapchat code so you could share it online. So I'm going to show you how to change the colors and also add a picture inside of the ghost. In order to get these two crisp and clean Snapchat codes of your account, you can do it two ways. So inside of the Snapchat app, if you actually just click on the ghost icon to open up your profile, you can click on your Snapchat code to enlarge it and in the top right corner you should be able to see an export option. There you can save it to your camera roll, email it to yourself, or however you need to send it and import it into your computer. And then you can open it up in Photoshop or whatever program you want. This second smaller code without any name or backdrop, it's just transparent, can also be useful and you can find this by just going to snapchat.com slash add slash your name. So just go to that site and put your username and then you can just click and drag the transparent PNG onto your desktop to save it and open it up in whatever program you want. So I'm just going to work on this one here for an example because it's a little bit bigger and I also have a picture of myself here that I want to drag in the middle of the ghost and I'm sure you're going to have a logo or an image that you want to put inside of the empty Snapchat ghost. So what I'm going to do first is just put this all on the same canvas. So I'm going to drag that layer into the Photoshop project and I'll just hide it for now because we don't need to work with it. Now changing the color of this code is actually really simple and you don't even need to do any selecting. Since it's all black and white except that yellow color, all you need to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation. Now hue saturation adjustment is something that probably a lot of programs have. So even if you don't have Photoshop, I bet you could do this in free alternatives or I bet even paint has something like this nowadays. I don't know about that, but pretty much you just want to adjust the hue slider until you get a cool custom color that you like. So you can make it red, green, blue, whatever you want. It'll still scan. So let's say I want to make mine this bright green color. I don't really touch the saturation or lightness because then that starts affecting the black color. Well, you can adjust the saturation if you want. That doesn't matter, but I wouldn't adjust the lightness because then you'll start to mess with the dots and it might not scan. So let's leave that at zero. But I've got this bright green color here and I'm also going to show you an alternate way. So if you don't want a solid color, since we used an adjustment layer in Photoshop, that means we can hide or show certain parts of this adjustment. So we're going to add a gradient onto this. So if we grab our gradient tool, we could just add a black and white gradient of whatever style or format we want. So let's say a circular one and we can add that gradient onto the hue saturation layer and you'll see that it creates a gradient color and that's even another way to stand out a little bit more on Snapchat and you can create as many adjustment layers as you want to create as many gradients of colors as you want. So that's the basic method and now to add an image inside of the ghost we have our photo or image layer that we want and all we're going to do first is grab our background layer, just grab the magic wand tool and just click on the center and it'll automatically select everything. I'm using a tolerance of 10, but as long as your settings aren't too extreme, Photoshop has no problem selecting this solid white ghost. Now you want to go back to your photo layer and head over to layer, layer mask, reveal selection. This creates a layer mask in the exact shape of that ghost and if you undo this little chain button here, you can now click on your photo layer and move it around and then also go to edit, free transform, and scale it down to the correct size that you want. Remember to hold shift to constrain proportions and then press enter when you're done. Also, you want to make sure that your photo or logo layer is above the hue saturation adjustment layer or you'll start to mess with the colors of the photo as well. Now before you go ahead and save it and start sharing it and making your profile picture on everything, you just want to open up Snapchat and make sure it scans. So you can see mine scans there. So you guys can even try it with me. You can scan this red one, this blue one, this green one. You'll see that they all scan. And while you're at it, you can follow me on Snapchat by scanning one of those and stay up to date with all of my videos and updates and tutorials. So I'd love to have you guys on Snapchat. If you're on there, send me a message on how you like this video and hopefully you guys learned something. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.